much like the villages still on the island, which then became known as Caliste, a name given to it by the Phoenicians, meaning the beautiful one. Disfigured, the island grew in mystery, grew in charm. Later, Theras would found a colony here and called the island Thera. Today, the island is also commonly known as Santorini, in other words, Saint Irene. The cataclysm which so drastically disrupted the profile of Santorini is but one episode in an eventful history that is still unfolding. In the 16th and 18th centuries, two flat oblong volcanoes appeared in the center of the caldera, Micra and Nea Camini. Camini's last eruption only dates back to 1950. And even more recently, on July 9th, 1956, an earthquake shook the archipelago for over 40 seconds, killing 50 people. Santorini is unique. It is the only island in the world, besides Krakatoa in Indonesia, to have literally exploded. The birth of a volcano at sea is a relatively more common phenomenon and can even give rise to diplomatic incidents. In 1831, a few hundred kilometers away, a volcano arose from the sea between Sicily and Tunisia. The Italians named it Ferdinandea, the English Graham, and the French Julia. All were hoping to appropriate it and tension mounted. The volcano, however, restored the peace a few months later by disappearing back into the sea. On November 14, 1963, in the much colder seas of Iceland, fishermen watched a new island rise up out of the ocean before their very eyes. The island of Surtsey was born in a single night, a few hundred fathoms off the southern coast of Iceland. There was no warning sign of eruption, no tremors recorded, just a slight odor of sulfur in the Icelandic air three days before eruption. The island didn't immediately take on the appearance it has today. It grew, its contours changed, due to the eruptions that for almost three years periodically rocked the crater called Surtur. Less than two years after the volcano's birth, researchers observed the first traces of plant life on the island. Seeds carried by the wind or birds were thriving. Surtsey is now an integral part of the Westman Islands, the Vestmanea, all the islands in the Westman Archipelago were formed by underwater volcanic activity, but Surtsey is the second largest, just after Heme. Just a few kilometers away, ten years after the birth of Surtsey, this island was the stage for a major episode in volcanology. No one around here will ever forget the night of January 23, 1973. The Helga fell, the sacred mountain, a volcano everyone thought extinct, suddenly burst open along a two-kilometer line, and twenty fountains of lava began belching from the gaping fissure. The entire city was threatened by the flying volcanic rock and molten matter that was blasted hundreds of meters into the sky. During this eruption, a new volcano was formed. It was christened Eldfell. The lava flow was stupendous. Millions of cubic meters poured over Himae, suddenly enlarging it by over one square kilometer. The eruption lasted five months. A large part of the city was buried beneath the lava and cinders that spewed out of Eldfell. Thankfully, the inhabitants remained calm, and with the immediate proximity of the sea, there were no victims. the island was completely rebuilt. Several gutted homes were preserved as a constant reminder that in this part of Europe, more than in any other, volcanoes should never be considered definitively extinct.
These phenomena, observable almost everywhere in Iceland, are the ever-present signs of continuous and pervasive volcanic activity. When not in an eruptive phase, the Great Icelandic